Hey guys, it's Timmy, and this is Wrestling Unlimited. So last night on AEW Dynamite, there was a segment with the Young Bucks where they actually showed the footage of the backstage incident between Jack Perry and CM Punk last year at All In. With that, there have been some contradicting reports here, as Wade Keller of PW Torch actually first stated that the Bucks were not fully for showing the footage, and it was Tony Khan who pushed for it to air, and, well, he's the boss, so whatever the boss says goes, but Fightful actually kind of contradicts that, stating that's not true, as they have a big write-up as far as the reactions backstage, stating the following. The CM Punk Jack Perry footage aired on AEW Dynamite. It certainly happened. As Fightful reported last week, it was the actual footage and not a bait-and-switch. Regardless of how you feel about the footage or the decision, we've collected reactions from the wrestling world. Most of the reactions we heard were very tepid, with many saying that it was much of what they expected, and that it was a one-night ratings ploy. There was talk of the mood decreasing backstage at AEW Dynamite after the footage aired. More of the dread of, quote, social media bullshit than anything else we heard. We've heard that Tony Khan had the idea last week following Punk's interview with Helwani and the numerous shots last week in the media from WWE personalities accelerated that decision. By late last week, Creative was set for the video and the decision to promote it right after WrestleMania was planned. Regarding rumors that the Young Bucks weren't in favor of the segment, we're told that isn't true and they were fine with doing the angle. Now to editorialize for a second and come off of what Fightful is saying, Fightful states that the Young Bucks were fine in doing the angle, and Wade Keller states that they weren't in favor of doing the angle, which kind of is not a contradiction. If you think about it, them being fine to do the angle doesn't mean that they still weren't in favor of it. They could have still said, no, we're not in favor of this. We don't think you should air it, but do it anyways and be fine with doing the angle. So that's just my take on that. You could be fine with doing the angle, but still not think it's a good idea at the same time, especially if your boss is telling you to do something and you just got to do what the boss says. Back to the Fightful report. We're told that FDR were given a heads up about the decision to promote it and signed off on it. And we're in the line of thinking that if it adds to the storyline or buzz around it, that's fine. We've heard of no issues between Punk and FTR as a result. The general response we heard from AEW talent was that they felt this added to the importance of having a huge show for AEW Dynasty. And they didn't think that the full pay-per-view schedule announcement the following day was an accident. With WWE, there were plenty of people talking about the situation. But most we spoke to were exhausted after an insane WrestleMania week. We heard no particularly surprised reactions or anything that happened that anyone didn't expect. CM Punk is not getting punished, scolded, or anything of that like within the company. There were a few wrestlers who considered the video a, quote, cell phone, and others who said they simply didn't care and were watching out of courtesy. A longtime name that has been in WWE and AEW said that this is no worse than anything that happened during the Monday Night War era, and there are examples across the board of this happening back then. The prevailing hope backstage was this hopefully benefits Jack Perry, both his reaction from the crowd wrestling in Chicago and in hopefully bringing him back to AEW to capitalize on the situation. Elsewhere in the AEW locker room, there were natural quote, wish someone else would have got that TV time reactions. Several in AEW felt like they were in a no-win situation after CM Punk's Hellwani interview. Him poking fun at Osprey, Triple H poking at Osprey, Michael Cole's references to AEW, and Pat McAfee taking shots at Tony Khan and AEW. There is no concern from any talent we've spoke to across any company that this is, quote, a company killer. And most everyone agreed that the online discourse and hyperbole was something that AEW likely expected. It's worth remembering that reactions like these are based only on the responses we got and are subjective in nature. Basically, it's the same thing that everybody else has been saying last night. Yeah, the footage didn't look great for the company, but now we just got to see how it plays out. We got to see what comes of this and what the reaction is going forward for AEW and maybe even CM Punk, but more likely even more Jack Perry and how he gets treated going forward from the fans. So with that, if we do hear anything further on this footage that aired last night and what the ramifications could be going forward, love that for you right here. Pro Wrestling Unlimited.